Badminton is an extremely friendly school. That's the first thing that you feel, I think, when you come in through the door. And also the girls are extremely happy, but they're purposeful. The girls are always keen to learn. That's, I think, the most important thing here. The children want to learn. They're not being forced to. They're, in, they're encouraged, they're inspired by the teaching, and they want to learn. They enjoy it. They're passionate about it, as other staff. All our teachers know our girls very, very well. They know exactly what the girls need to do to improve their work. They're subject specialists, which means they know their subject extremely well, they're passionate about what they're teaching, and that's what makes our teaching exciting and it really motivates the girls to want to learn. Languages are important, so what we want to do is give all our girls a taster of different languages so when they come in, at, if they're age three, in nursery, they start to learn a bit of informal French and then when they get into year three, they start doing it in lessons. We're using senior school specialist teachers. In year four then we go on to do Latin and we also then go on to do German and Spanish so that every year the girls get a taste of a different language so that when they get older and they maybe move up to the senior school, they have an idea of which languages they'd like to pursue. We do ESB in year four and year six, which is an opportunity for girls to, um, to hone their presentation skills and to talk publicly. Um, it's incredibly important because these are the skills that we need as we go on through life and into our careers. An oasis of calm within a bustling city. We've got plenty of green space for the girls to run around in. There's lots of equipment for them to play on and lots of space for creative play where they just want to go out and use their imaginations so we don't stop them from going into the mud and digging for treasure or for making little tunnels through the hedges. That's encouraged. We want them to go out and be creative, be with their friends and learn how to get on with one another. We've got all our facilities on site. We've got um, playing pitches for netball and hockey and tennis courts. We've also got the swimming pool, which is marvellous because our girls go for two lessons a week. It's on site, we don't have to take them anywhere, so it means we can have the extra sessions when we need it, and also for activities after school, you know, so we can have um, swimming training and they can do water polo, that sort of thing. We are very lucky in the junior school to have our own art room and our own design technology room, ICT room and also science lab which is designed for junior science. So they've even got Bunsen burners which they do use at the end of year six just to prepare them ready to go to the senior school for when they'll be using a proper uh, science laboratory. Music is very popular in the junior school. We have lots of lessons with a specialist music teacher. So lots of the girls take up an instrument. So cello is particularly popular in the junior schools. We've got lots of cello groups. Uh, we have an orchestra and a wind band. And we have lots of singing. So there's choir practice uh, in the mornings and we have hymn practice as well. So the singing is very strong here. Chapters, 
teacher that teaches specifically the drama, another specialist. We do a performance, a musical performance once a year. Every member of the junior uh, school takes a part in it, so from year three up to year six. And we make sure throughout the year that everybody has the opportunity to perform at some point. Uh, we don't force children into it, but we think it's very important for their confidence that they have these opportunities to perform in front of an audience. When I first came here, we took girls from the age of four, and I had huge numbers of parents saying, why can't my youngest daughter come here? What we want to provide in badminton, not only in the junior school, but also the senior school, is continuity. So that's what prompted me to think about, well, maybe we should start a nursery, uh, which we did and has been very successful. Being a small school, uh, pastoral care is key. It's also easier for us because we've got less girls to get to know and we get to know them very, very well. So the form tutors are the main uh, focal point for all our pastoral care. But we take a whole school responsibility. Our whole structure of the school means that children feel confident in approaching members of staff. We sit with the girls at lunchtime, we're on duty with them outside. So as well as a formal pastoral structure, there's also the informal one where we're friendly with the children, they can come and approach us and talk to us about things that are worrying them. When I first came to badminton I was concerned coming into an all-girls environment that there could be some uh, unpleasant behaviour between the girls. However, I have not found that to be the case. The girls are very, very supportive. They look after one another, and that's something that we really encourage in the junior school, and it comes naturally to them. <laughs>